I want to work with you guys, and I just want all of us to set our goals now and set our goals after we stick to them. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Marissa, and today I want to talk to you all about doing all of your goal setting and all of your New Year's resolutions over in Asana. Let's get into it. This is Barely Keeping It Together. Okay, you guys, earlier this week, I shared a video all about how to make your own vision board, how you should put them everywhere, because guys, 95% of our brain is our subconscious mind. So let's get our goals into our subconscious mind because we can do 20 times more with our subconscious mind than we can do with our conscious mind. That being said, I wanted to talk to you about now that we have a vision and a plan, well, we have a vision, we don't have a plan. We need to make a plan to put our goals in order. So today I wanna to talk all about how to use Asana to put together a plan to achieve all of your goals. Now, this year, I am so excited to stick to my goals with you. Last week, again, we did the vision board. And then next week, I am going to be sharing with you how to stick to your goals in 2021. And I wanna work with you guys, and I just want all of us to set our goals now and set our intentions and actually stick to them. So that does mean having a little bit of grace with yourself and setting goals that are realistic, but also stretch goals. So let's get over into Asana and talk about how you can schedule your goals in Asana so that you make sure you accomplish everything you wanna do next year. In order to talk about goal setting in Asana, I wanted to bring you into my actual Asana um, setup that I have here. Now, I do have the free version of Asana, and if you have a paid version, you are able to get more features and more sorting, but this is a great example because, again, this is the free version. So on the left-hand side here, you can see I have all of my different boards. Most importantly for this board, I will show you that I have my Barely Keeping It Together content schedule, which by the way, I can view as a list, which this is the list view where I have things scheduled by different types of content, And but I like to view it as a board. So I have um, YouTube, Instagram, blog, Pinterest, um, and then some other ideas. And this is how I plan out all of my content. But as you can imagine, it is incredibly stressful to just look at this and figure out, okay, what am I supposed to do next? Because this is a lot of information and this is a project plan that I put together. So what I have done is I have actually created another board called weekly to-do list. And so either on Fridays, Saturdays, or Sundays, when I'm planning my next week, I would go in here and I would figure out, okay, for example, I need to record, this is the video I'm recording right now, next week. So it, you can see if you click on it, that it's in this board, but you can actually press the plus button and add to another board as well. Now I already have it in my weekly to-do list, but then if I go to my weekly to-do list board, you can see this is everything that I'm just supposed to do this week from all of my boards put together. So I go through each board, I figure out exactly what I need to do each week, and then I assign it to my weekly to do list, so that I know going in on a Monday, everything that I need to do for the week. Now, I'd like to also create a board to show you guys a little bit more about that. But what you would do is this plus sign right here, create a blank project, and let's call this like life admin board, right? And then I like to do my this, mine as like Kanban boards, but you can also do lists. Okay, so now I've created my life admin board, and this is how it automatically sets things up to do in progress and complete. And you absolutely could set it up like this, or I like to like categorize them, right? So I could have one be fitness. I could have one be like, um, dinners. If I wanted to do my meal planning in here, I could have like admin tasks to do. Right. And then I can go in here and I can be like Peloton run 20 minutes, let's say. And then like dinner, we'll make this one tonight. I'm having sushi stacks. And then mail letter to Sam. Okay, these are just random examples. 
But so if I click on this, I can assign it to myself. Um, and I can say, I know that I need to do the workout for 20 minutes on Monday, but I don't want to forget. So what I'm going to do is I will add it to another project, which is my weekly to do list, but I don't want it to fall under YouTube because that's silly. I have a fitness board there. So then when I go into my weekly to do list, I can see oh, on Monday, I need to do a Peloton run. So then I go through every board and every project that I have going on in my life, whether it is my content schedule, whether it's another project I'm working on, whether it's a freelance project or fitness stuff or life admin stuff. And then I just assign them to this week. So then throughout the week, I just need to look at my weekly to-do list in Asana. And the reason why this is so great for goals is let's say where's my life admin let's say that my goal is work out to or like five times per week right then i can go in i can put my five workouts in my goal is um cook dinner four nights a week right um, my goal is don't let mail sit around so you just take your goal and you figure out all the other categories that fit within that. Now, if we're tying this to our vision board and maybe it is a larger goal like purchasing a house or something like that, what I would do is I would actually give that goal its own board. So as opposed to this being life admin, this would be like, house buying and then the categories within this would like one would be savings one would be like the actual process finding a realtor one would be figuring out where i want to be one would be how do i make more profit in my business one or how do i drive more revenue to my household or how do i save more money so then the category or sorry the board would be the goal and then the categories would be each way you're gonna to work towards the goal and you can break it down and assign it to yourself as you go through the goal. I actually wanted to show you how I would break down a larger project as I was just referencing on the previous board. But what I did was I created another board called Buy My Dream House. And then you would break down within buying your dream house, what are all the categories that you would have to do, okay? So let's say you thought that your savings, you would have to save $100,000 for a down payment. You would need to find the house. And then there's like a lot of admin that goes into buying the house, right? So in order to save $100,000 this year, let's say that means, um, make, you know, more per month. And then we'd have to figure out, okay, how are you going to do that? And then as you would do that, um, or like, let's say sell, um, three more, I'm just making this up. And then you'd create a plan for how are you going to sell three more jigsaws, right? And then you would be able to take these and you can make sub with sub tasks within here. So to sell three more jigsaws per month, you're going to need to post more on Instagram, which means maybe this week you start posting on Instagram. Sorry, I know I spelled that wrong. You're going to need to call old clients, et cetera, et cetera, create a savings account. And so I could assign this to myself for this week so that then this week I know I need to go in and create a savings account. Now I'm going to have to like drive different neighborhoods. And this one, I'm going to have to call a mortgage broker because all of your goals are going to become a lot more attainable when you think about all of the little pieces that go into them. So buying your dream house feels really overwhelming, but if it just means you need to sell three more jigsaws per month, figure out the neighborhood, find a realtor, um, call a mortgage broker, all of those sorts of things, then you can actually plan those things into your weekly schedule and it becomes a lot more attainable as opposed to this big, scary, overwhelming goal. So that is how you would go ahead and take a larger goal, make that particular goal its own board, and then break it down by all the action steps that you have to take in Asana.
The last portion of this that I want to talk about is now that I have everything broken down by what I need to accomplish this week, each of these things I need to accomplish this week, then I can go in and I can say, for example, this is the video that I'm handling right now. Okay. I was going to film an up. I was going to outline film and edit on these days. Now I need to do all these tasks today. And then these tasks tomorrow, these are subtasks within the task and they're all assigned to me. So make sure they are assigned to you and they all have the day that you're going to do them. You plan that when you plan your week or your month, however you like to do it so that then on a daily basis, you can just click my tasks and it will show you everything you need to do today, everything you need to do tomorrow, Monday, etc. So that then you just know what you have to do on a daily basis. And this can act as your daily to-do list that's going to actually get you toward the goal that you set in the first place. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today about sticking to your goals and setting them up in Asana. Next week, we're going to talk all about how to stick to your goals in 2021. I got you. You got me? I got you, girl. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, head over to my website where you can see all sorts of information, definitely a blog post about this, and follow me on Instagram where I am at barely keeping it together. I will talk to you guys later. Bye!